Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new here. Hello, hi, my name is Cushy, and today I am going to be showing you what I cook for my husband. So first things first, wash your hands, always. So I start by making Luke's overnight oats so you can have that in the morning. So I have some Scotch oats. Need to focus. So everything is always measured out. My protein vanilla drops for a bit of flavor. Chai seeds. Honey, milk, and some fruit. It's so always got to wash your stuff. And then cut up the strawberries. Is it hard being a strong wife and in case of just like cooking and you know having to maintain a lot of their kind of lifestyle and diet style? I actually really enjoy cooking so I quite like it but sometimes it can be a lot of food because it's very expensive and Luke is always hungry. So if you're on point, like cooking for the day is easy. If you have the time to cook, you make the time to cook. Sometimes if you're in a rush or if I'm working, then trying to get all of his meals cooked is a little bit of a struggle. And then a couple of my protein flavor jobs. Some chia seeds. Did I say it? Chia? 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 Chia, chia, chia. seeds. And then some honey. Stick the lid on. And give it a little shake. So then that will thicken up over the next few hours. Quite runny just now. But it will thicken up and it will taste nice and sweet. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge. So that's Luke's overnight oats just done and he actually cooked his own breakfast which is eggs. Being a vegetarian I don't eat eggs so cooking them I'm not that keen on. I'll cook everything else but eggs I'm not a fan of. So especially because Luke gets up so early in the morning anyway um, I'm not getting up at that time so he can cook his own eggs for breakfast. So now we're going to cook Luke's first lunch so always have to wash your potatoes you'll normally just have a large baked potato but this is actually quite small so I always do two I always stick them in the air fryer and then cook some mince and veg and some coleslaw and that is very basic so I'll stick in a beef stock cube and that is lunch so nothing too exciting but gets his meals in I guess so yeah so I cut them in wedges because I'll put a lot of garlic salt on them which is just amazing and then I'll put rosemary seeds on it as well so it's more like chips rather than potatoes and then I'll stick them in the air fry because it's a little bit more healthier that way Is it weird having to cook a lot of meat and products like that for Luke or does it not bother you at all? At the start when we first got together, it really did. Um, I did struggle with it a lot. So at the start when we first got together, I really struggled. I remember I used to cook chicken. We were in South Korea and um, I knew that I had to cook for him. I was always cooking in like vegetarian meals which wasn't right for his diet. And I remember having a conversation with my auntie and she was like, you need to look after your husband, you need to cook for him, clean for him, like all this type of like stuff. My, my auntie is very, 
traditional, old-fashioned South African and she was like, you need to start cooking for him regardless if you eat meat or not. So I remember that I was like touching the chicken like, like this with tongs and I had gloves on. Like flipping each chicken like this and making sure it was cooked and it was um, difficult for me because I've always been a vegetarian. I've never eaten meat before in my life. So going from that to then not bothering like cooking burgers, mints and everything like that, it's uh, a lot's changed in the last five, six years. But yeah, from where I was at the start trying to cook meat to now, yeah. Learn how to cook quite quickly. <laughs> so whilst the potatoes are cooking in the air fryer, I'm just going to cook Luke's mince. So I'm just going to measure it out, how many grams that he needs, and then fry it. So I'm just measuring out Luke's mince. If you want to know the exact measurements of what Luke eats, then I'm sure there's a video on their channel somewhere. So go and check them out. I'm sure all of you have come from their channel anyway but I'm sure there'll be a video soon of how much they eat. Lunch is just about ready, just waiting for the potatoes to cook. So I'm just going to get started on his next meal. So he had normal potatoes in his first lunch, so for his second lunch, I'm going to have sweet potatoes, some burgers, more veg, and of course, some coleslaw. So I've already washed the potatoes, so I'm just going to cut them up, and then I've preheated the oven, so just going to stick them in. in the oven until they're stuffed. Still don't like touching the meat so I'll always use stuff to touch it. Oops. So I'll stick that in the oven for a while and then make some more veg and that's Luke's second lunch done. So I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese uh, with well, meatballs and I've already washed the carrots, just going to cut them up. Just put some can of tomatoes in there, I've got some onions, lazy garlic, so I really don't like the garlic on my fingers. And then a stock cube. So I'm just going to chop all that up in a blender, I'm going to grate the carrots, so he has all of his veg in there. And I've got some garlic bread, spaghetti and lots of cheese. So I will just get started. size plate is what I would eat off and stuff like that. This is a Luke size plate. So you can see the difference in size. So it looks quite huge on me, huge plate, but when it's on Luke it just looks like a normal plate. But um, yeah, that's the size comparison for how much Luke actually eats. So I've just put an onion in and a teaspoon of the lazy garlic. And I've grated the carrots and I'm just going to blend these tomatoes. A teaspoon of salt, because salt is good for you. Mix that all in with the onions and then add the carrots. And we'll let that cook for a little bit. So 
so I cooked the carrots for a bit and now I'm going to pour in a can of tomatoes and then Stick this in, let that cook for about 30 minutes. Hello. Look who's home. Hello. Feed me. You hungry? Man hungry. Woman cook. Man need food now. Nice to meet you. This is lunch. Where he is. Briar. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Merci beaucoup. You're welcome. Don't cook a while. That's why you topless. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Oh, you oh, Bobby. You spill on your top. Right on well. top one. I hope you're enjoying this amazing content, guys. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, like, and comment below to decide what my next meal should be. Or comment below and see and tell me what you think Kushu should make me as a secret meal. And I won't read the comments, I'll just ignore them. I don't know, something like that. A vegan meal? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Luke's just come home for his lunch and he's had his meal and now I'm going to treat him to some story tarts. <laughs> you want your dessert? Yeah, <laughs> This is part one of my dessert. My main course for my pudding is kushi. Okay. Oh, baby. Yeah. Mmm. Deadlift session today. Mm. We're not filming it, but it's a deadlift ladder. I just need my sugars to give me a boost. We've also got SPD up filming for the next couple of days, so I'll be quite busy with that. So, thanks to my wonderful wife, I'm staying energised full of beans and raring to go. Where'd you learn to cook? Just on your own or do you um, watch people? I don't know. 
I've always just, just happy with the strawberry tarts. Um, my mum taught me how to cook when we were younger, but because um, I lived at home, it was always my mum cooking. So um, kind of self-taught. I always Luke's mum gave me a few recipes and stuff, so I started off with that and um, just went along by myself. When I moved out, always have to cook for yourself. So find out things that Luke likes, Luke doesn't like. It's quite tricky because with people that eat meat and people that don't eat meat for I can't do a taste test to see if it tastes nice or not and looks quite hard to read but when it comes to food it's either mmm 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 or yeah that was nice so you kind of tell the difference if you like something if he doesn't like something so yeah pretty much self-taught I guess and for people that don't really know how to cook or find it challenging do you think it's worth giving it a go for me, um, the way like I've been brought up and the way my mum is, it's always important to look after your husband. Um, that's just the, what I believe in like our culture and whatever. So my mum very much looks after my dad, so she makes the house a home, so she'll cook, clean, do all the things that he can't do because he's at work and stuff. So for me, I think it's um, like and acts of service, I think it's really important in a relationship. So acts of service could be like cooking, cleaning, rubbing his feet and stuff like that. So I find those kind of things quite important in a relationship, our relationship anyway. And Luke's quite happy because he gets fed and his house is clean and his feet gets rubbed. Here's a Dan. Just waiting for the sweet potatoes to cook. So get started on the spaghetti soon. Just gonna put the burgers on a plate. Well, not that posh in there, so we don't have like multiple oven trays. So I actually need to use that oven tray to cook Luke's next meal. So I think you should all go to Luke's page and say to him that he needs to buy lots more cooking appliances. So I can tick off that the shiny bit's meant to be facing down. So if the shiny bit's facing up, then it will reflect the heat. Something like that. I hate touching it. Stick that in the oven. Go to my room. And that is dinner. I really want some of those cinnamon buns. That's the most annoying thing actually, feeding someone that eats 24 seven because he always has all the sweet treats, all the cakes, all the bagels, all the desserts, all the strawberry tarts. And then me, who's always trying to lose weight and on a calorie deficit and blah, 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 is really annoying. So like I'll buy like a full fat Coke for Luke and then diet Coke for me and then normal bagels for Luke and then uh, bagel thins for myself and just loads of stuff like that. And that's quite irritating. And then when he's sitting there eating all of his cakes and treats and like, 10,000 calories a day and he's still got abs and you're just trying to lose weight. Just... Jesus Christ! Why do you slice it up like that? So the butter can sink into the sweet potatoes and then you stick it back in the oven and then the butter will just melt all in and it's nicer. Maybe. Opinions. Can try a little bit? Be better if this salt would come out. So this is Luke's next meal, some sweet potatoes. That doesn't go on, this is why I don't do YouTube stuff. Oh, with some butter on it. Doesn't look amazing, but I promise you it's so tasty. And then his burgers.
So then just add a little bit of coleslaw and then that is his next meal. So this would be a bowl that I'd eat my spaghetti in. This is Luke's bowl that he eats his spaghetti in. That's how different the sizes are. So I'm just going to do a spaghetti. <sighs> Is it in any way pressuring the fact that you have to be like so like correct macro wise with the food? I think I'm used to it now because I have to macro check all my food but doing loops you have to get it down to like the exact T. So any way that you can potentially help them in their job, their training, this or the other, if this is what he's getting told that he has to be eating like to the exact measurements then I'm going to try and do that 100% so yeah. Weighing out Luke's food, for me, is quite important because then I'm doing the best that I can to provide for him. So, yeah. Where is... Okay. So then just going to add some cheese and then sit the garlic bread in the oven a little bit later when he's actually ready to eat because it's better to have it fresh. And then that is Luke's dinner. Ooh. So thank you very much for watching my cooking for Luke video. I know there's been a few comments of doing different types of videos like a fitness video or like vegan diet or just stuff like that so I might have to try and do that. If there's anything else that you can suggest, um, just pop it in the comments. I read everyone's comments, so uh, that'd be very helpful. But other than that, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Say bye-bye.